Few liqueurs are as versatile as Bailey's Irish Cream. Combining elements of caramel, chocolate, and vanilla, it's equally good in coffee, desserts, or with some Irish whiskey. This is what you need to know the next time you reach for some Bailey's. Bailey's got its start in 1973 thanks to the product development work of David Gluckman after he played a role in developing Kerrygold Butter. The International Distillers and Vintners Company had given Gluckman and his business partner Hugh Reed Seymour Davies a brief to develop a new drink option for exporting from Ireland. The two decided that they wanted to explore the idea of celebrating Ireland's dairy industry. And what better way to do so than by mixing Irish dairy with Irish whiskey? The first experimental batch mixed a bottle of Jameson Irish whiskey with a tub of cream. Over time, the recipe was improved to include sugar, along with the flavor of chocolate from Cadbury's powdered drinking chocolate. The recipe was finalized with that addition of chocolate, as it added the perfect element to balance out the whole concoction. When it comes to drinks like Bailey's, it's important to note that liquors and liqueurs are not the same thing. Liquors, also known as spirits, hard alcohol, or distilled beverages, typically don't have any sugar added to the final product. And often, with many liquors such as bourbon, Irish whiskey, and scotch, there are very specific rules regarding additives to the final product. Last but not least, liquor has a much higher alcohol content. It ranges depending on the spirit, but they typically hover at 40 to 50 percent alcohol by volume. Liqueurs, meanwhile, are characterized by the addition of sweetness. A liquor is used at the base, which has already been distilled, and then additional flavors and sugars are added, usually making the liqueur top out at a lower alcohol by volume. Liqueurs are often mixed into a cocktail or enjoyed neat or on the rocks. Bailey stemmed from the idea of combining Irish cream with Irish whiskey. David Gluckman and his partners wanted to celebrate the Irish dairy industry. Adding whiskey, another major Irish export, was a great way to do it. After all, Jameson had been producing Irish whiskey since 1780, and it was responsible for a huge chunk of export sales. If you're going to center a product around Irish cream, it's absolutely essential to have a good source for that cream. Luckily, there are 18,000 dairy farmers in Ireland to choose from, cumulatively producing more than 8 billion liters of milk each year. Bailey's is made from milk that comes from cows across Ireland. Each year, close to 200 million liters of milk are required to make the cream that is turned into Bailey's. And to get the best cream, Bailey's hand selects family-run farms across the country to work with. There are countless liqueur brands out there, but despite all that competition, Bailey's Irish Cream continues to win the title of the best-selling liqueur year after year. In 2017, for example, Spirits Business reported that Bailey's was the number one best-selling liqueur for 2016. From 2015 to 2016, the brand showed a 1.59% increase in case sales, and that number rose even higher with a 2.6% increase from 2017 to 2018. Coming in with 7.1 million case sales in 2018, Bailey's continued to hold the ranking for the best-selling liqueur brand. With the release of Spirit Business's ranking for 2020, the brand was still holding strong with the number one spot, with 7.4 million cases sold. When Bailey's was developed, the whole point was to come up with a spirit that would become Ireland's newest popular export. So considering that it consistently tops the charts as the most popular liqueur in the world, it's safe to say, job well done. Ironically enough, though, it was initially pretty difficult to find a distributor in the United States to take Bailey's on in their portfolio. Once a distributor was finally found, they were skeptical about the sales, but the product nevertheless ended up taking off. Just five years after the launch of Bailey's, over 1 million cases were being sold each year. As of 2015, 82 million bottles of Bailey's were being exported to more than 180 countries annually. Bailey's and friends, let's do this again. There are a few key laws when it comes to making, bottling, and selling alcoholic drinks. Obviously, it has to be bought by a consumer of appropriate age, and it must be sold from a legal vendor. All alcoholic products must also be sold with a label that distinguishes the class that the product belongs to. And one of the other key components that's required is the address of the producer so that consumers know where the spirit is coming from. That rule has been around a long time, but when Bailey's was developed in 1973, David Gluckman decided to simply disregard it for the first bottle and move forward. When the product was ready to launch, and Gluckman and found a bottle to utilize, an address was needed for the label. So the dairy distillery, County Monaghan, was added to the very first label. But as Gluckman confirmed to the Irish Times, it was a total fabrication. The story behind how products came to be can be incredibly fascinating, and so can the history behind the product's name. But that's not necessarily the case for Bailey's Irish Cream. In fact, the name initially really had no relevance at all. David Gluckman and Reed Seymour Davies shared an office in London near a restaurant named Bailey's Bistro. When they were trying to figure out a name for their new beverage, Gluckman kept seeing the sign for Bailey's and referring back to it. The duo had talked about wanting to come up with an Anglo-Irish name, so it sounded more approachable as a family name. But that was the only requirement they had at the time. Bailey's was the first name that was pitched for the new creamy liqueur, and it was the only one that stuck. The final name of Bailey's Irish Cream debuted later, with no actual ties to inspiration coming from Ireland whatsoever. Nevertheless, it's managed to become an iconically Irish product. 
At the time that Bailey's Irish Cream was created, the recipe came somewhat by the seat of the producer's pants. David Gluckman and Reed Seymour Davies whipped up the recipe in a matter of 45 minutes with just a few tweaks along the way. Was it possible that developing a global spirits brand in under an hour could really be that great? The idea of mixing cream with alcohol wasn't something brands were doing often, and it seemed to be a bit of a turnoff for some people. The brand Gilby's of Ireland, which was looking for a new product, sampled Bailey's after multiple recipe revisions to get it just right. Once Bailey's moved forward in its development and production process, it was time for the company to find someone to actually sell it. As Gluckman recounted to Inside the Cask, the CEO of the International Distillers and Vintners Company took a bottle of Bailey's to New York to meet with a well-known and successful distributor. But alas, with one sip, the distributor was certain that Bailey's would never sell. Of course, considering the popularity of that liqueur today, that turned out to very much not be the case. Gluckman remembered that moment of doubt, and it even served as the inspiration for the title of his book, That Will Never Sell. The history of Bailey's all started with that first recipe that paired Irish whiskey with cream and chocolate. That coveted recipe has gone on to live quite the popular life, but it hasn't remained all by its lonesome. Along the way, so many other flavors of Bailey's have been introduced throughout the years to diversify the tasty portfolio. For example, in 2019, Bailey's unveiled a red velvet cupcake edition. It was created in collaboration with Georgetown Cupcakes to offer a sip of a classic sweet pastry and beverage form. Diving even further into desserts, an apple pie-flavored Bailey's debuted in August 2020 as a kick off to fall. The creamy liqueur offers flavors of apple pie, vanilla ice cream, cinnamon, and spice. And if you're looking for even more sweetness, Bailey's also debuted strawberries and cream to its lineup back in 2018. The fruity and creamy pink drink was tested in the United States that year and became a more permanent flavor on the roster in 2019. Other Bailey's flavors over the years have included everything from chocolate cherry and salted caramel to espresso cream and pumpkin spice. It's safe to assume that when people who follow a vegan diet see a product with cream as the main ingredient, like Bailey's, they decide that it's definitely not for them. But as it turns out, Bailey's had vegan customers in mind when developing its almond milk flavor. Bailey's Almonde was introduced in 2017. When it launched, the company boasted that it was gluten-free, dairy-free, and vegan. Alas, the initial debut of the product mistakenly included beeswax in its ingredients list, which Bailey's apologized for quickly, and then they relaunched it with a truly certified vegan product. The drink is now made from almond milk, allowing the flavors of almond and vanilla to shine through, while still offering a creamy liqueur for those following a vegan or dairy-free diet. The story behind Bailey's Irish Cream is certainly unique in terms of how the product was intended to be developed, but it was hardly a one-hit wonder for its creator. With David Gluckman having product development experience under his belt, and with Bailey's easily being his biggest success, it's no wonder that he has other feathers in his cap. It turns out that he was also responsible for developing a number of other spirits brands, including Tanqueray, Tenjin, and Smirnoff Black. Bailey's now lives under the Diageo brand's umbrella, which is one of the largest spirits and beer companies in the world. Bailey sits right along Tanqueray in the lineup, and that's not the only major spirits brand in the family. The company also owns top beer and spirits like Johnny Walker, Aviation Gin, and Guinness Beer, among others. If you have a delicious liqueur with flavors of cream, chocolate, and a hint of whiskey, it can be the perfect drink for sipping with your dessert. A glass on the rocks is certainly a treat, but whipping up a dessert with Bailey's right in the recipe could make for an even better experience. Because of its creamy texture, Bailey's lends itself quite well to desserts. Obviously, the chocolate flavor also tends to help. It's the perfect addition for cheesecake, for example. Mixing cream cheese, mascarpone, sugar, and Bailey's can produce the most delicious cheesecake topping without too much of the alcohol coming through. Another tasty way to switch up a recipe is including Bailey's in your French toast mixture. Or you could even make a chocolate Bailey's cupcake by swapping out the milk in the mixture for Bailey's. Wait a minute. Am I eating brunch or is this a cocktail? Who cares? It's delicious. With all of the uses for this signature liqueur, it definitely seems like Bailey's would come in handy for so many great recipes. And if you like the idea of keeping things in your kitchen that are entirely made from scratch, you should know that you can make your own Bailey's Irish Cream at home. Since Bailey's is basically a mixture of Irish whiskey, heavy cream, and chocolate, mixing those ingredients can easily result in a delicious homemade version, with a few additional ingredients in the mix. While Bailey's is obviously made with Irish whiskey, another type of whiskey will work if that's the only option you have on hand. To make your own Bailey's, Simply mix heavy cream, sweetened condensed milk, your favorite Irish whiskey, chocolate syrup, strong coffee, and vanilla extract together. You can mix the ingredients in a bowl with a whisk or throw it all in the blender. Once your Irish cream is well blended, put in a sealed container and keep it in the fridge between uses. And then get to drinking that sweet, sweet homemade Baileys. To good friends Please. and epic adventures. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.